Um, hey guys, this is the dark here. I have a small issue. Um, I'm not sure if um if there's something wrong with PS3, like if Xbox has if Xbox has it, because I know Xbox does at this moment. But uh, I don't know if it's a PS3 problem or if it's a disc problem or what it is. But um, let me just show you guys my uh, the problem I have with my PS3 at this moment. Well, not my PS3, but uh, the um, online. I can't connect to the online. Like, I can play campaign, stuff like that, but I cannot play the online. And uh, it'll show up here in a moment. Uh, but uh, whenever I go to the multiplayer, right here, I'm about to click on it. Whenever I go to the multiplayer... Um, you'll notice that it crashes and it brings me back to the PlayStation 3 menu, uh, or XMB as you call it. And I don't know why it's doing this. Cause look, I clicked it really quick. Boom. Clicks me. It, it um, cancels me out of Call of Duty 4 multiplayer and, uh, brings me back to PS3 menu. And, uh, I did a few things that people ask me to like uh in this next one that's fading in right about now is um I got rid of the all the patches, turned off my PS3, reset my router, etc etc and then I re-downloaded the patches as you can see that I'm doing at this moment. I re-downloaded the patches and um I decided to try it again and uh the same thing happens again. I, it just, as soon as I click on multiplayer, like I can play campaign, I can do all that stuff, but I cannot play multiplayer. And um, I don't know what the issue is, but if you guys have any videos on YouTube, anybody who um, has any information on this at all, spread this video around, try and figure it out. Because I, I want to play some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. And, um,. I'm having a similar issue with World at War, except for it freezes on the menu. And uh, that's probably just my disc, because my disc is really old. But uh, I don't know if you guys have a fix or a video or anything at all of either of the videos that uh, I showed you, or either of the clips of that I showed you that fixes it. And uh, then drop it in the response, post it as a video response to this video. If you don't know how to do that, click on the comments, and then there should be a little thing next to the post comments. It should say post video response, and then you can, uh, I believe you can either, if you're the person who has the video, then you can either do that. Or just post a link to it in the comment section below. But look, again here, uh, cancels me out, and uh, see you guys later. Thanks for trying to help.